Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video. Guys, today's video, I have an insanely, insane, sick gameplay for you guys. Sadly, I did not get to capture the audio. I don't know what happened in the recording of my Elgato, but it did not capture any audio, which I was so mad about, and it did not capture voice chat or my voice or anything like that. So you know what? I decided, you know, instead of scrapping the highest kill gameplay I've ever had, I'm going to break it down and give you guys tips and tricks on how to get like more kills in Apex Legends. Basically, I dropped 20 kills in this game, which is insane. That's the most kills I've ever had. Um, as a team, I think we dropped maybe 26 together. But alone, I dropped 20 kills by myself, which is an insane number. I was basically popping off the entire gameplay. You're going to get nothing but action. I cut out all the boring parts. You're going to basically see us fighting the entire gameplay. But with that being said, let's start giving you guys tips and tricks on how to get more kills in Apex Legends. So starting off, I want to talk to you guys about the weapon that you want to use because the weapons really are everything in this game. Uh, if you don't have the best guns in the game, it's going to be kind of hard to pop off and go off. Now, you again, you want to use what you're comfortable with. But if you can practice with these weapons that I'm about to name off, I want you guys to find it in the game, practice using it, and get good with it. Because one, the wingman is by far the best gun in the game. Uh, just Even though it shoots very slow and you have to actually hit your shots really good, it does 45 damage to the body and almost over 100 to the head uh, from long range close range it doesn't matter which is insane this gun is extremely powerful i think the the sniper only does like 50 something damage which means that this wingman is doing basically almost as much damage and it has a faster fire rate and it's just got more ammo in the clip so especially if you throw an extended mag so if you're good with the wingman that is the go-to gun that you guys want to use now i know a lot of people aren't really good at single fire guns because you really have to hit your shots and be able to have a good aim to hit your shots with the wingman so if you're not good with it i covered this in one of my other videos the 301 is one of the other best guns in the game it's a fully automatic rifle it's a freaking good gun. The gun is probably, it's extremely fun to use as well, just because if you're hitting a lot of your shots, you just see numbers popping up as hit markers, which is, it, it just looks insane. It looks like you're popping off and stuff like that. So if you're good with the 301, use the 301. The only thing about that gun is you need to find a extended mag because the clip runs out extremely quick. So if you don't have an extended mag, you're gonna be reloading your gun a lot. And in this game, for some reason, without extended clips on any of your guns, you're gonna catch yourself reloading a lot of the time. So make sure that you're actually giving call outs to your teammate and letting each other know like hey there's an extended mag over here if you need it for this gun or that gun so communication is the next thing that i want to talk about as you guys can see me and my teammates we're, we're all playing this very good we're playing aggressive and that's because that's what i really the play style that i like to do is aggressive as you can see my teammates are giving them heavy fire from a distance and then i'm the one always pushing up getting aggressive getting in their face and stuff like that because i trust my shot and i also have the alt ability to get out of there and make sure that i don't take that much damage so as you guys can see after i killed that person i know there was another team there so instantly instead of fighting the other team I knew I needed heals. I let my teammates sit there and hold off that high ground while I went back over here to heal. You just give a call out to your teammates and stuff like that. But you need to be very tactical as a team. You need to be able to talk to each other and let each other know like, hey, stay here. I'm going to go heal real quick. Or hey, we need to back out of this fight. Let's get out of here. But I said, stay here. I'm going to heal real quick. So they stayed there and fought that fight while I went to go heal. Now, as you guys can see, you need to be giving the call out to your teammates if there's one, two, or three people on the team that they see. So if they can spot three people, it'd be like, it's a three-man team. If they spot two people, say I only seen two people. But that guy dropped right away, even though there was only one guy. The second he died, he didn't get knocked or anything. So just like Fortnite or any other Battle Royale game, he died instantly. So there was no need to actually worry about his teammates or anything like that because they're gone. Um, now you guys can see this part is actually something you need to pay attention to. So we are in a sticky situation. The storm's closing in. This guy has good placement within the next zone. So he's basically in this house, has good coverage, and he's sitting there with a the sniper. And he beams me. He knocks one of my teammates, beams me. I'm over here like freaking out like crap. They have good placement. The storm's coming in. I'm going to heal up you guys and then i gave a call out just because of my special ability and my teammate's special ability we smoked out so they couldn't see us and then i use my special ability to try to go invisible and get our teammates out of there without being seen so i use my teleportation or the little rift thing go invisible and then i ran over here where there's a little bit better cover and i use this so my teammates can actually get out of that little corner area and now we're in the circle so now we're not stressed out too much over there needing heals and stuff like that and we basically just cleaned up we all hit our shots and we killed people and we pushed up perfectly as a team so teamwork is very huge if you want to drop high kill games or even get a victory royale in this game. Now my go-to supports that I would like to use on my team or people that I would like to have on my team is me, one, the invisible guy because I can always flank. I can go invisible, flank teams, give them pressure from behind, or I can get out of there if I'm pushing alone or getting too aggressive with people. So again, going invisible and helping your teammates get out of situations like that is a good alt ability. It doesn't just help me, it helps my teammates as well in sticky situations. Another good person, specialist, whatever you guys want to call them, champion that I would 
would use for a team is the smoke girl. I don't know exactly her name, but she shoots out smokes. Um, she's very good at if your teammate goes down or something like that, you can have somebody smoke out where that teammate is and have somebody pick them up because they're usually not visible through the smoke or anything like that. So the smoke is very, very good at getting out of sticky situations. And again, sometimes in this game, you are going to get yourself into positions where you're not going to be able to win every gunfight. You're going to have to get out of there. So smoking it out and dipping at the right moment is probably the best thing to do. And then for the last specialist ability, we like to have a medic, somebody on the team that can heal and stuff like that. So she revives a lot quicker. So if anyone gets knocked, I'm usually the one that pushes up and gives the other team pressure so they don't push us while our medic heals the other person or picks them up extremely quick because they also put a shield out. So it gives them a little bit more protection. So it's a really, really good specialist. Those are the three champions that I think I would use. The reason I say specialist is because I think Call of Duty, it reminds me of Call of Duty a little bit and that's what they were called in Call of Duty. So I don't know. But this part, this is the ending. This is the last team. It's us versus this last team. Now we don't know how many people they are. What One thing that Apex does is at the very end of the game when there's two teams left or three teams left, they put a question mark on how many players there are in the lobby. And the reason they do that is so that way it's not like, oh, it's a 3v1, let's go crazy. That way you're actually, you're playing scared. You don't know how many people you're going against. We didn't know if we were going against three, two people or one person, but we did see two people. So we called out that there's two people and that's all we knew. Little did we know there was a third person that we didn't know about. So it does make it a little bit harder because you're actually playing as if it's a 3v3 at the end of the game. Now, keep in mind, I do play like complete like crap right here, but that's just because I was extremely nervous. I had 17 kills and I knew if I could kill these last two people and get the victory royale or I don't know, champion royale, whatever they call it in this game, I was going to be able to upload this video. This would have been an insane gameplay, a 20 kill gameplay or my highest kill gameplay with a, a win on top of it. So if I lost it, it kind of would have sucked. It would have been like, oh man, all those kills for nothing. We lost the game. So all the pressure was riding on me right here. And this last moment comes extremely clutch. Both my teammates go down and it's basically up to me to kill all three people. So things do get crazy. I do miss a lot of my shots. I was super nervous. I had two of my roommates in my room with me watching. So they were like spectating in real life. And I was just like, yo, so much pressure is on my head right now that I was just playing really, really bad. But we still pulled off the win, which is insane. But as you guys can see, we know that the other team is over here on this side of the map. We know that they're over there. Um, we have the circle advantage. So instead of just sitting there bunched up all together, we're each watching our own sectors. So one's watching middle. I was watching far left and somebody was supposed to be watching this far right, but nobody was over here. So I was like, you know what? I got to push this far right side to make sure that I'm watching it to make sure that no one's over here. And this was my duty was to watch this. So that way we can make sure that no one's flanking us. No one's pushing up on us or doing anything crazy. But we saw that they pinged us. And this is when things get real. This is when we all start fighting each other. Um, they mark it out. One of them's over there. I think two of them are actually over there. And one of them, we only thought there was two people. Right here is where we find out that there's actually three people in this game. And not only do they have us cornered where one got behind us, they're going to actually eventually knock one of our teammates or get them extremely weak so while he's healing he's getting shot at by the guy that's flanking and now we're freaking out we're like oh crap this is this is actually real this is happening so he smokes out we decide to push back here's the third guy that we see he's back there trying to flank i'm missing all my shots but luckily he had no armor i saw that i was hitting for white health so i challenged him i should have if he had gold shield or anything like that i probably would have maybe went invisible and got a behind him or something but he had freaking white health so i was like you know what he's super weak let me just go ahead and light him up real quick and here's where exotic motion misses every single shot he possibly can take now keep in mind both my teammates are down it's a 1v2 i'm the last one alive i don't have that much shields anything like that these guys are pushing us getting aggressive I'm freaking out, man. So I knocked this guy. Luckily, he was one shot. And then it's a 1v1 situation. And this is where the shots just go off. I'm hitting him for purple. So I know he has shield. My teammate is going clutch right there. My boy, Exotic Boost, literally holding his freaking shield in front of me. Taking a lot of the cover fire. He was literally taking a lot of the damage for me. Because he sat there in front of me with his shield. That's a pro tip that you guys need to actually pay attention to. If your teammate goes down, because when they go down, they can actually open up their shield. Have them get in front of somebody if they can and shield up so that way they can crouch behind you maybe and maybe protect themselves. But that's basically the end of the video, you guys. As you guys can see, I went off 20 kills, 2,618 damage. My teammates had 4 kills, 2 kills, and around 1,000 damage each, which was an insane game. I definitely did pop off for the team. It was an intense gameplay where it was nothing but action the entire time. But guys, if you please can, give this video a thumbs up. I want to bring you guys more tips and tricks. I'm still trying to get better at the game, but I, I, I honestly believe... Eventually, I'm going to be able to give you guys pro tips. Uh, so far, they're just they're just good tips and stuff like that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.